right, Seattle, we are back, and it's time for us to head into the year three playoff run with your President's Trophy winning Seattle Stallions. I told you guys I'd do it. It took some time. We had to reset after year one because we drafted Alexei Lafreniere, but year three became year two, and our squad is ready to go. Five uh, plus, plus fives across the board, offense and defense, all right, and in the net, we have a, a, a veteran goaltender who's never won a Stanley Cup, Henrik Lundqvist, 40 years of age, King Henrik with that poise, this could be a magical season for the Seattle Stallions, but I will say this, all right, even if we don't have a good playoff run, even if the EA voodoo hits me, it's okay, because the future is coming, this exact same roster is going to be back next year, and this exact same roster is going to get all the boosts that we had from this season, so a guy like Sammy Blay, um, he's 84 overall right now, but because he just had a 93 point season, I'd be willing to bet he jumps to an 85, 86, 87 maybe, so that next year, 87 Sammy Blay with a plus 5, ooh, same thing with Sprong, Aberg, Laugh, Kane, Baptiste, Tino Strozer, Pressburg, Janssen, Van Ryan, Cousins, Kubelik, everyone's getting better, defensively, everyone's getting better, the one piece that won't be back next year is Henrik Lundqvist, so we have to play for Henrik. Automated goalie rotations is off, and in round number one, we are going up against arguably the best first-line blue line in the NHL, belonging to the Vancouver Canucks, ladies and gentlemen. They have four forwards in JT Miller, Elias Pettersson, Brock Besser, and Bo Horvat. After that, it gets a little bit weak, but they might be all defensive up front. Furlan, Gaudette, Vertanen, Lowry, Della Rose, Roussel, Simone, Nordstrom. Because when you look at their blue line, look at this. Quinn Hughes is now an 89 overall. And Alex Petrangelo signed in free agent after year number one. I just, the best blue line in the NHL. And every single year, those two guys are top two. Are, are, are both of them in the top five for defensive scoring. So if their four forwards can get the offense, if these guys can chip in and the rest of the team just plays good defensively, they might be able to do something. In the net, they got Markstrom as well. See what I mean? It might be a defensive team here against the Vancouver Canucks. Um, but, uh, you know, the thing with our squad is we should be able to score goals. All right, we should be able to average three or four goals a game. Remember how I always say that third goal by the end of regulation? We should be able to do that. And then if Henrik Lundqvist can just steal a few, keep them to two or less, this could be a really magical year. So uh, I have uh, a lot to do today. I'm hoping for a deep playoff run. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not waste any time. Let's get right. Oh, oh, oh last thing, last thing. Also, we currently still only have three alternates. I was discussing with the Twitch uh, scouts what we should do. And it seems like... The team that won the President's Trophy was captainless. So let's continue into the playoffs captainless until we're in a series where a trophy is handed out. All right? So we got to go through the first and second round and see who becomes captaincy material. And then we'll make our decision if we can actually get through the first two rounds. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, no more vamping. Here we go. Year number three, your President's Trophy winning Seattle Stallions. They are in the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, I'm nervous. Here we go. Time's eight. Come on now, boys. <laughs> One shot, one goal. But there you go. Pontus Aberg answers right back. What are you doing, Henrik Lundqvist? You gonna make a save for me? Friggin' woo scoring as well. Second goal of the game for the Vancouver Canucks on five shots. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I will say this about our team. Uh, we are offensively built. If we are going to get scored on, fine. But, um... Like I said, we should be averaging three or four goals a game. So if we get beat two to one, three to two, I'm blaming the offense. I'm not necessarily going after the defense. The defense will come when I get the penalty kill and when our blue line grows. But the offense should be there. So power plays to the Seattle Stallions. The Zebras trying to help out the expansion team. And Lowry on the third line is going to make it a 3-1 lead for the Vancouver Canucks. There you go. Brendan Carlo making it three to two. As long as we are within two goals, I will feel comfortable in the simulation in this in this with with this team so down by one going into the third not a lot of shots though taken five goals on 24 shots i mean both teams only managing 12 shots through two periods my goodness what are they gonna end with less than 20 here we go third period underway come on now seattle do we have a hero in us uh, oh power play the zebras helping us out goes nowhere though 10 minutes left Come on now, Seattle. I'm going to need that game-tying goal. We're going to... Oh, another power play late. Come on. Oh, we can't score. Yes! And Vinny Hino Stroza scores with two minutes remaining. And the Seattle Stallions do indeed get that third goal by the end of regulation. 
And if I have to deal with this, oh, it's going to be a long playoff run, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, game number one, round number one, going over or overtime. Let's jump in there. So, here we are, game one in Thundershock. We're going with our greens. We're not going to try to change anything. I'm on uh, coach mode so I can edit the lines. I'm going to try to send everything at the net, all right? But we got Henrik Lundqvist. He, oh, oh, he didn't have the greatest first game, but uh, he can always step up and have a big time overtime frame. Uh-oh, Alex Petrangelo. Passing it to Quinn Hughes. Look at this blue line with Brock Besser. Petrangelo. Download to JT Miller. Sending it behind the net. Lafreniere breaks it up. Here we go. Pontus Aberg for Seattle. Across the blue line. Pont drop pass. Drop pass. Ooh. All right, Pontus. Oh, he was trying to find Evander Kane. I think a drop pass was there, Pontus. He just did not find him. Vancouver Canucks coming back the other way. Patterson poked off the puck by. Who is that? Hey, check. Nice job, buddy. Get it up. There you go. Up to Aberg. Aberg's open on the right. In pass. All right. Shoot it now. Hey, check. Slapper. Yes. That's a 1-0 series lead for your Seattle Stallions. Hey, yeck, baby. Big time shot. Our alternate captain. Boom. 1-0. Let's get to the next one. Okay, so the hockey gods answered my prayer. We got the W, and it was nice and quick as well. And look at that. We won the 4-3 game. We got the three goals by the end of regulation. Now, I'm hoping that we can get four goals by the end of regulation. I'm going to leave Henrik Lundqvist in the net. All right, one game. I want to see what King Henrik can do. You do not disrespect a goaltender like King Henrik taking him out after an overtime uh, victory. All right, I don't care how many goals he scored. We're going to need uh, we're going to need a veteran like him just to win the game. It's not about his stats, it's about the type of saves he makes when he makes the saves. And Pressburg records his very first career NHL playoff goal, ladies and gentlemen. He actually gets one before Lafreniere, Daniel Sprong answering for the Seattle Stallions, giving them a 2-0 lead. And that's what I love to see, man. Getting those goals early in the game. I mean, after watching the Columbus Blue Jackets and Toronto Maple Leafs in real life, first period goals for the team you're cheering for, is that even a thing? Well, here with Seattle it is. 2-0 after one. I love it. Power play goal for Tyler Myers. He scores on Henrik Lundqvist. Gets his team back within one. We're halfway through the game. Seattle has a 1-0 lead. Shots are even, though. Vancouver could easily get themselves back in this. We're going to need some more offense. We're definitely going to need some more offense here. Yep. Adam Lowry is going to score for the Vancouver Canucks. And there you go, Daniel Sprong. So, good news about the plus fives. We are scoring. That's the second game in a row we've gotten three goals by the end of regulation. All right? On a pretty good defensive team. Petrangelo, Hughes. Uh, uh, they got Markstrom in the net. Brock Besser is going to tie the game. Oh my god, Furland. But the problem is, they're actually scoring on us. They're scoring more than we're scoring on them. I don't like to see that. Four goals by the end of regulation. Might have to switch to a Thatcher Demko here. Power play late. Do we have a goal in us? Do we have another late tying goal in us? No, we don't. And the Seattle Stallions are going to lose game two cleanly. Four to three. All right, Lungfist. You're out. You had two games. You had the chance to win uh, both of them. Both games, you couldn't get me one single, uh, what's it called, uh, regulation win. And you had plenty of goal support. You got yourself seven goals for in two games, but you allowed eight, uh, or uh, seven goals against. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to try Thatcher Demko here. No, no, no. He can always come back, boys. Remember what I said. Our team is still weak defensively, even with all the plus fives. We are scoring, which is which is what I wanted. But the, uh, the Vancouver Canucks are built for defense. Petrangelo, Hughes... Uh, Pat, I think Pedersen is a two-way. Horvat's a two-way. Uh, they got the goalie, Markstrom. So they got a pretty good team here. All right. If we can't get by them, we can't get by them. The future is coming for the Seattle Stallions. I'm just hoping that we can get one good goaltender game here because we are scoring. So game three, north of the border in Vancouver. Can Seattle find a way to steal a game in regulation this time? Power play early for the Stallions. Early. A long one. Ne Vinny Hino Stroza gets his second of this series. So we're scoring early, which is good. We just need some goaltending now to match it. We need just need a game where our goalie makes a few saves here. There you go. The end of one, we're up by one. You like to see it. All right, even shots, 10-9. to nine. Vancouver's a tough team here, man. Even though we were a President's Trophy winning team and they were the eighth seed or the fourth seed, the wild card, whatever it was, they're a good team. Baptiste, he's going to score his first career playoff goal, I think. Adam Goddett's going to get the Vancouver Canucks back within one. See what I mean? And they're going to tie it up. Goddett gets it past Demko. We just can't pull ahead. We get the goals early, but we're not being able to keep the puck out of the net. This is starting to scare me a little bit. I was hoping that we would get by the first round uh, convincingly, but the Vancouver Canucks have a pretty, pretty good team right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is former team, Goddett. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. F uh, third period underway. We have a tie game once again. Where's the third period where we have like a two-goal lead? What the hell's going on here? Come on, do we have a late one in us? All the plus fives across the board. I need a 90 overall guy and a plus five. That's coming next year. 
Yes! Nikita Zadorov, the trade from the Colorado Avalanche. He is a def he's a he's a cup winner. He knows how to get it done. Two minutes left. Hold on. Hold on. Yes! And your Seattle Stallions are going to win a tight game with three goals by the end of regulation. So we did it again. We got the three goals by the end of regulation, and we were able to keep them to two or less. So Demko did his job. Nice job, Demko. But um, I like to see the goal scoring. All right, we are scoring goals. And they're a good defensive team, and we're scoring goals. And it's been pretty, like, um, consistent. Like, where's the, where's the game where we score four? Like, four by the end of regulation. It's been three every single time, right? All right, so a 2-1 series lead, correct? Yeah, 2-1 series lead for your Seattle Stallions. Let's get back in there. Come on, boys. Come on. Where's Laffy Taffy? Uh, I know, I know. Laffy hasn't even uh, recorded a playoff goal just yet in his career. I'd love to see uh, Alexei Lafreniere step up here. But it's a team game. He's on the first line taking on Pedersen and Hughes and Petrangelo, right? He's opening up the depth for uh, his teammates to go after the rest of the Vancouver Canucks. So Vancouver, power play early goes nowhere. Power play for Seattle goes nowhere. And after one, it's all tied up at zero. Yeah, these teams are even. These teams are even. Power play for Seattle goes nowhere. See, what's taking them up is their 90 overall players. What's taking us up is our mid-80s at a plus five. But I think these two teams are very even in the simulation. Power play again for Seattle. Halfway through the game, neither team has recorded a goal. This is a huge series swinging game. This could be the difference between 3-1 for Seattle or uh, a 2-2 series tie. 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, so our offense, three games in a row where we got three goals for. Now it's, uh, it's uh, disappearing. This could be a game where Vancouver could steal one. Come on now, offense. I need you. I need you, offense. I need you to step up. We're out shooting them. We're having a great third period when it comes to shots. Our shot total skyrocketed right there. But here comes Vancouver. Ten minutes left. Tie game. Oh, and Brock Besser is going to score on his old team. And you whole Levy is going to get the insurance marker. And just like that, the Van... Wait a minute. Jake Bean. He gets them back within one, making it a game. Oh, and Brock Besser, the empty netter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot find a way to score. That fourth goal by the end of regulation has been elusive. So a 2-2 series tie after four games played. Man, we have 15 more wins in the regular season than they do. We have 12 less uh, uh, regulation losses. But when the playoffs hit, it's a completely different season. All right, so I can maybe try to edit some lines. Um, Laffy's not having a great... The first line's not doing great, but he's up to 87 overall now. He's a minus three. Fuck, that's a problem. There's nothing else I can do, though. Uh, there's nothing else I can do. I could try to lower him to get a plus five, but... Swap Kubelik and Kane. Kubelik and Kane. I could. What was Kane's? Minus four. So you want Kubelik up there? All right. Yeah, you know what? Let's try Let's try to change it up a little bit. Kubelik, Lafreniere, and Aberg. All right. Baptiste, Blay, and Sprong. Pressburg, Hino, Strozzi, Janssen. Uh, we're going to get Evander Kane up there. Because Evander right now, zero points in four games played. A minus four. All right. Kubelik, he's an even player. Lafreniere's got the one assist. Aberg's got one goal, one assist. Yeah, Kane is, you know what, guys? Kane has been nowhere. You're right. Kane has been nowhere. What about the power play? Uh, if I take off Kane there, right, and I put in, like, Aberg. No, you lose it. Can I keep a plus five if I move anyone around? No. Can I keep a plus five if I move anyone around? No. All right, so Kane's got to stay on the power play, though. All right, so Kubelik. Good luck, my man. I'm going to try you out on this first line. We're going to see what happens. Kubelik could make a name for himself here in these playoffs. We might actually uh, <laughs> make a move. No, no, no. We got to, we got to, we got to trust. Just load up plus five. Yeah, I know. We don't worry. We have, we have a plus five with Kubelik. But you're right. Like, that, the Kane has done nothing with Lafreniere against their first line. So let's try it. Let's try to change it up. So here it is. Game five in Seattle, ladies and gentlemen. A 2-2 series tie between... Two very tough teams. And Quinn Hughes is going to open up the goal scoring in game number five. Oh, my goodness gracious. There you go. Laffy Taffy, his first career NHL playoff goal, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he ties up the game here against the Vancouver Canucks. Maybe Kubelik uh, sparked a little bit of energy on that first line. Good to see. All right, so a 1-1 tie. Shots are 14-7. to seven. Yeah, man. Markstrom's having a great series for them. Power play for Seattle. 
goes nowhere. Damn it. We needed that. Needed that big time. Power play for Vancouver. Come on. Keep it out of the net. Keep it out of the net. It's a long one. Oh, it's a long one. I don't know if it was a four-minute double minor or what. Oh, we just took a five-on-three on it. Oh, my God. Yes! Andreas Janssen gives Seattle a 2-1 lead. All right. So, are we going to get to the end? Are we going to get to the end? All right. So, a 2-1 lead in game number five going into the third period. We're going to need some help here. Demko against your old team. This would be the game to step up. But also, insurance markers. Like... We have a lot of different options here, but just keep the puck out of the net, all right? Just keep the puck out of the net. Third period, underway. <laughs> Jake Vertanen, fucking right. All right, Alexei Lafreniere. Yes, Brendan Carlo. All right, you know what? I would have taken that. I would have taken that. We're a plus one in the third period. A five-on-three power play for Seattle. Good, that'll kill tons of time. Power play for Vancouver. You don't like to see it. You don't like to see it. Oh, it's a long one. We got that fourth goal by the end of regulation, though. That's exactly what we did. That's what I, exactly what I've been calling for. Two minutes, one minute. Yes, and Pressburg with the empty netter. All right, so Laffy Taffy showed up. Shots 48 to 28. My God. Let's uh, take a look at the player stats here. All right, because the uh, Kubalik. Kubalik. I don't know if Kubalik did it. Kubalik, two assists plus two. Lafreniere. Yep, Kubalik. I don't know if it was just coincidence or what, but Kubalik sparked the energy on that first line, and he got it going. Demko did well as well. Yep, yep. All right, good, good. All right, so it comes down to this. We have two chances to win. Uh, it's got to be Demko, Demko, no matter what, right? We're not going back with one fist. Demko's had it good enough. Even if we lose this game 7 to nothing, it's Demko. Demko, Demko. Yeah, it's got to be Demko, Demko at this point. Yeah, it's got to be. De he, he's, he's gotten us to this point. Uh, 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 Lundqvist had two bad games. Demko was, uh, Demko's had some pretty good games. Even the game that we lost, Demko, yeah, yeah, he played good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Game number six. Demko's in the nets. 3-2 series lead for your Seattle Stallions. A trip to the second round. Oh, my God. It's on the line here in Vancouver. Power play for Seattle goes nowhere. They cannot score on uh, on Jacob Markstrom. Although we are shooting them. There you go. Baptiste on the second line. Vancouver hasn't, hasn't even recorded a shot. And it took them halfway through the first period to get a shot on net. You like to see it. And Seattle Stallions have a 1-0 series lead. Three minutes left. Too many. And Bo Horvat, the captain, is going to tie up the game here. Trying to help his team tie up the series. All right, so all ones. 11 shots to six in favor of your Seattle Stallions. So they're playing well. Come on now, Seattle. There it is. Evander on the fourth line. But it was a power play, I think. Uh, I don't know if it was a power play or what, but Evander Kane scoring for us after being demoted down to the fourth line. You'll love to see it. All right, halfway through the game, we have a 2-1 lead. Come on now, boys. Hold on to this sucker. Four minutes. Three minutes, two minutes, power play for Seattle. This Oh, a shorthanded goal for Tyler Myers to tie up the game before the first period. Oh, my God. That is, remember that goal if they can force a game seven. That is huge. All right, here we go. Third period underway. Tyler Myers might have just saved the series for Vancouver. Come on now, boys. I need a hero. Power play. Oh, we cannot score. Power play for Vancouver. Good job, Demko and the boys. Halfway through the third period, the game is all tied up. This could be a trip to the second round. I don't want to have to go to a game seven. No, fucking God, Dad. Are you kidding me? How many goals is this guy going to get in this series? Please. Yes, Baptiste is second. And we're going overtime. Baptiste ties it with 36 seconds left. Oh, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck, man. So, here we are. Rogers Arena, game six. A trip to the second round is on the line here for the Seattle Stallions, and that's going to be upside. And uh, 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 a trip back to Seattle for game seven is on the line here for Vancouver. So, come on now, boys. With Kubelik on the first line with Laffy Taffy and Aberg, we could certainly uh, make some noise. Come on. Gerard up to Aberg. Aberg across the blue line. Am I telling him to shoot? Shoot now. Shoot now. Yep, yep, yep. Rebound or a face up. Whatever. If you're on your forehand, I want shots. Uh, Laffy, you can take the face off. If you can win that set face off, you can set up a, a point shot that I'll tell, uh, what's his name? Hayek to shoot. All right. So Laffy Taffy up against Pedersen. Face off. Offensive zone. Laffy wins it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Oh, if only I had a right handed shot there. Kubelik was left handed, so we took an extra time to clutch it. <gasps> Kubalik, oh, get in there, Laffy Taffy. Win that face, uh, win that uh, puck battle. Don't, don't freaking. <gasps> Kubalik, what time? Oh, my God. Nice try. Nice try. All right, let's go second line. Let's change it up. Let's stay fresh out there. Woo, man. We had some real, real good chances right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Sammy Blay, offensive zone face off. 
Oh, cannot get it. Petrangelo up to JT Miller. Here come the Canucks. Oh, no. Across the blue line. Looking for an open player. There you go. Get in there, Jake Bean. Strip the puck right off of him. And counterattack for the Seattle Stallions. Sprong across the line. Should I tell him to shoot? Shoot that. Sammy Blay. Oh, Sammy Blay. Oh, he's going to throw it out. What a, ge what a genius is Markstrom. He doesn't want the uh, offense his own face off against. And now they have a good rush. Besser. And it's going to game seven. Markstrom. No. All right, so unfortunately, a loss right there against the Vancouver Canucks. Game seven upcoming. And I know I already said it, but uh, I need I need some magic. I need some magic. If this doesn't work, it's my fault, and I will take 100% of responsibility. But we got them for a reason. Demko, I, the future is yours, but does the magic Henrik Lundqvist, at 40 years of age, his last real chance to win the Stanley Cup as a starter, his last real chance. I know he's 8-8-1 eight, eight, in the playoffs. I know. Garbage. But I just need, I just need, I just need the magic one more time. I just need the magic one more time, Henrik. I just need it. So that's it. Whatever. I'm not making any lines. If, if we lose, I will take the blame as the general manager. All right? But we signed Henrik Lundqvist in free agency for this reason. I have to trust him. All right? It's an elimination game. Games one and two, it's like to, to uh, Henrik, it didn't matter. It's like, whatever. We'll come back. Now it's the game is on the line. He's got to... He's got to step up, he's got to step up, he's got to step up. Come on, Henrik Lundqvist. You can do this, my man. Game seven in Seattle. Come on, Henrik. Come on, buddy. Times eight. Son of a bitch! One shot, one goal? Oh! Okay, okay. It's not about how many he lets in. It's about the timing. All right, he's going to go. He's going to be a beast for the rest of the game. Yes! All right, all right. We're back to square one. We're back to square one. Evander Kane scores on the fourth line. We're back to square one. Come on, Lundqvist. You got this, my man. We need... Son of a fucking bitch! Quinn Hughes! No, 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 not like this! All right, all right, all right. All right, everyone, everyone. Uh, we need a captain. We need somebody. I know we didn't uh, name any Cs on this team, but we need somebody to step up in the locker room, dude. Oh, Lundqvist! He's lost it, dude. He doesn't have it anymore. Lundqvist doesn't fucking have it! Okay, okay, it's not over, it's not over. This game is far from over. We can do this. We can come back still. We can certainly still come back. Second period, underway. Lundqvist, you gotta shut the door. Power play for Seattle. Come on, we need one. Lafreniere, Laffy Taffy. Captain Captain material right there. Goes Laffy Taffy. Power play. Goes nowhere for both teams. All right, we're all... Uh, it's square one again. I need a goddamn lead, Lundqvist. Come on, buddy. Oh, halfway through the game, Lundqvist has allowed three goals. Oh, jeez, Louise, can I get a freaking save, my man? Three games, the Lundqvist has allowed three goals in each game, man. What the fuck? All right, so down by one going into the third period. I don't know. I'm not down there in the locker room, boys. I can't make the speech. Somebody's just got to step up. Laffy already had, already tied the game up once. Maybe Lundqvist steps up and does the speech. I don't know, but let's see. This is, this is it. This is the season. This is the season right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, please, please, please. Third period underway. Come on, Seattle. We need a third period to see a series tying goal. Please. No, Lundqvist. I just need it. Oh, I got to take it. I got to take it on the chin. Wait a minute, Jake Bean, please. We've made it the game. Eight minutes left. Somebody, a hero. I need a hero. I need a hero. I need a hero. We're jumping in. We're fucking jumping in. Coach mode. We're, co we're jumping in. We're jumping in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're jumping in. It's the last game of the year. It might be. We're jumping in. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, in Seattle. I got a full four check. Let's go, boys. Get up there, play some defense, get the puck, and maybe we can tie this one. Lundqvist is still in the net. Oh, it's such a bad idea. Get the puck. Get the puck. Four check. There you go, Carlo. Go, 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 go. Pass it, you fool. There you go, Lafreniere over to Aberg. Or it's Janssen, sorry. Janssen cutting. Janssen looking. What the fuck? kind of floaty fucking backhand was that by Kubalik? Oh my god, EA Sports. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Whatever. We still got the game to go here. 4-3 for, uh, four, for Vancouver. Kubalik could have snipped it. Uh, uh, dump and chase. Go, 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 go. Get that puck. Counterattack. Go, go! Who is that? That is... I don't even know who that is. In the middle. Keonta. Fucking what a play, and Markstrom's gonna save it? Are you shitting me? 
Where's that for me? Why don't I get a save like that? Oh my god, what a save, dude. What a save. What a save. All right, offense is on face-off. Blade wins it. Hey, yeah. Baptiste, another great save by Matt Markstrom. Are you kidding me? He's saving one-timers, man. How? Don't take a penalty. Don't take a penalty, you fucking idiot. I can tell when they're going to go for a hook. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes JT Miller. Oh, uh, centers it. Hey, yeah. Oh, he takes it off of him. Go, go, go. I'm not pulling the goalie yet. Two minutes left. Sammy Blay finds over. Whoa, whoa. Passes left and right. Hey, yeah. One-timer. Rebound! Oh, oh my god. I always got to face off against the best goalies, man. Corpusalo in real life, and now Markstrom. Oh, the one-timer to nowhere. Here come Vancouver. Less than two minutes left. Slap shot from fucking the blue line on Lund Lundqvist. I'm glad he saved it. Here comes Sammy Blay for Seattle. He's got an opening. Baptiste! A shot. Markstrom with the save. Pressburg. I need Presti. I need Presti. Pull the goalie? No, not yet. We're only down by one, guys. It's not like real life. I, I, I'll pull the goalie with, like, less than a minute. No, 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 no. No, I'm not. I don't want to get uh, caught out. All right, come on, Presti. Pressburg face off. Can't get the win. Michael Furland's going to go up the ice for the Vancouver Canucks. 140 left here in the third period. Oh, my God. Our season's coming to an end. Tyler Myers downloaded Bo, Ho Bo Horvat. Bo Horvat working it. Vancouver Canucks doing a good job. Oh, my God. Come on, guys. What's with this route? What's with these routes you guys are taking? Oh, get the fucking skates. Here you go. Zadorov up to Hino Stroza. Hino Stroza. Across the blue line to Janssen. Janssen finds Bean. Bean. Wrist shot. Good save again by Markstrom. Janssen behind the net. Hino Stroza. Out front. Get the puck. Get the puck. Get the puck. Janssen gets leveled. And Hino. Oh my god. Markstrom's just making every save, man. I can't fucking. All right. So the next time we get the puck, I'm pulling him. Uh, first line. Pulling the goalie. Go, boys. Go. All right. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, did he just put himself offside with a fucking deke? Oh my god! This- Fuck, dude! Do-do-do! Whoopsie-doo! Put myself offside! Alright, hang on. Uh, manage teams. Uh, uh, uh. Pull the goalie off. Alright, because it's a neutral zone face-off. Call a timeout. Yeah, first line is out there. Alright, goalie, get back, in the, uh, get back in the net. There's no guarantee that we win the face-off. Oh my god. I got Kubelik doing floaty backhands. I got Hino Stroza putting himself offline with Deke Rooney's. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? My goalie better be in the net. Yes, he is. All right, goalie's in the net. Come on, boys. All right, so we need the we need the puck. We need to have puck possession, and I'm going. Okay, hang on, hang on. No, I'm not pulling him yet. I don't like it. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I don't like it. I don't like it. Not yet. Laffy! Get that face off. I don't like it just because it, it's just it's not the puck. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't do it. I'll do it the next time we got the puck and we're going up the ice. Here come the Vancouver Canucks looking to ice it. 45 seconds. <laughs> fucking Henrik Lundqvist. Are you fucking kidding me? All the shots that fucking Markstrom is saying, is saving and that fucking goes in? Fucking Brock Besser shooting it from the fucking the moon. Oh my god. What the f You trash. You're friggin' straight trash, Lungfist. Straight trash. My god, man. What the f Game over, ladies and gentlemen. Series over, season over. I gotta take the blame. I put Lungfist in. Wrong call. In hindsight, wrong call. Good lord, man. JT Miller across the blue line. You guys want to go get him? I got you on high pressure. You want to go get him? 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 There you go, Baptiste. Go, go, go. Baptiste, my best player. Baptiste and Sprong. Do a two-on-one. That, that's good. Oh, nice try. The game can't even do a two-on-one. All right. Pressburg should be out there. Lafreniere. It ain't over just yet. You never know. Seabiscuit. Rally the troops, please. Please. Oh, we need a quick goal off a of face-off win. Laffy Taffy. Please. <gasps> Laffy. Oh, Jesus. Everyone's on their fucking backhand, dude. E e everyone. Everyone's on their backhand. Everyone. Every backhand. 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 <sighs> useless. Fucking useless. Fucking useless. Hey, we got some guys on there. If we can win it back to the right D-man now, Pressburg's got a one-timer set. Hooray!
Face off, Laffy Taffy. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Do something with it, Laffy. Do something with it, Laffy. Do something with it, Laffy. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Why can't one of them just go in for me? I always get screwed in the real-time fucking simulations. I bet you if I go back and load the save file, I'll just do a fucking quick sim like the regular season, I win a Stanley Cup. Oh. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fucking fair, man. It's not fair! <laughs> and the Vancouver Canucks have defeated the Seattle Stallions in Game 7 when we had a 3-2 series lead. 3-1 series lead in the conference finals in Year 1. 3-2 series lead against a team with 18 less regulation wins on the season. Games, oh, fuck off, Lungfist, you're trash. No wonder you never won a goddamn Stanley Cup. Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win, trip to the wild card. First inning.